The GoPro Hero 8 is great for mounting in tight areas where other larger cameras simply wouldn't fit, although sometimes the area can be too tight to reach round to the rear screen. And for times like those, GoPro have implemented a neat little feature using the front screen instead. The first thing you'll want to do with your GoPro Hero 8, after fully charging the battery of course, is set the camera up the way you want it. And to help with this, GoPro have introduced a new menu system using preset options. Rather than having to faff about with changing individual options while out on the field, we can create preset shooting modes, allowing the ability to switch between shooting modes with ease. Note that presets are available through all shooting modes, be it video, photo or time lapse. And even though the camera will come with some default presets ready for you, it's a good idea to spend some time going through each, tailoring and creating your presets the way you want them. So to customise an existing preset, simply tap the icon next to the preset to enter all settings and make any changes. Or you can create up to 10 presets by adding your own. And after choosing your settings, unfortunately you can't enter your own chosen name, but there's a healthy predetermined list of names to choose from. So you've got your presets dialed in and you've mounted your camera in a location where you can't access the rear screen to change modes or options. Or maybe you're just heavily gloved up and don't want to remove your gloves to use the rear screen with your finger. Fortunately, GoPro have you covered. With the camera switched on, a short press of the side mode button will cycle between the three shooting modes. So with your shooting mode selected, press the mode button and immediately press the shutter button at the same time to display a menu of all your presets. As long as you have your presets dialed in the way you want them, tap the mode button to cycle down to your chosen preset and the shutter button to select it and then down to exit. A nice quick and easy way to switch between presets when you're unable to use the rear screen.